Recording. There we go. So we are in the week of engineering and design, right? And there are a lot of there is a lot of vocabulary in this in this uh, lessons going on. So it's very very important to you that we get familiar with these words, right? But of course, we it, this is Tuesday already, and well. Finishing, finishing the, the reading section, we are going to go through the video that we are going to watch this week. Okay, so let's uh, let's get together and let's watch it together, all right? Attention. When you imagine a playground, chances are it looks something like this. There's usually a slide, a bridge, and a high point with a domed roof. That's what makes this a playground, and this, and this. But what about this? This isn't a junkyard. It's called an adventure playground. Here, there are no plastic play structures, just things like old tires, wood planks, and hammers and nails. Places like this represent one of the most debated ideas in play architecture, that playgrounds should be designed to let kids take more risks. Now, this nightmare for helicopter parents is the hottest new thing in American playgrounds because there's growing evidence that play like this is a whole lot healthier and safer for kids. They can play with very dangerous tools. They can take really dangerous risks and overcome them. And this builds up a tremendous sense of self-confidence in themselves, which is really quite fascinating to watch. That's Marjorie Allen. She was a British landscape architect and children's welfare advocate around the middle of the century. In 1945, she visited Copenhagen, where she met an architect named Carl Theodor Sorensen. Two years earlier, during the German occupation of Denmark, Sorensen noticed a problem. Kids in his neighborhood weren't using playgrounds. In fact, they were playing just about everywhere else, even in construction sites and bombed out buildings. So in a housing development in the suburbs of Copenhagen, Sorensen closed off an empty lot and filled it with building materials, discarded objects, and tools. Here, kids could dig and build and invent on their own. The play structures were ultimately designed by the kids themselves. Sorensen called it a junk playground, and kids and parents loved it. When she returned to England, Marjorie Allen started opening similar playgrounds all across London, and she renamed them from junk to adventure. From there, they became a global phenomenon. They spread to Minneapolis, Boston, Toronto, Tokyo, Houston, Berkeley, Berlin. And to create these playgrounds, designers had to introduce a critical element, controlled risk. In this context, a risk isn't the same thing as a hazard. When you're climbing a tall tree, a rotten branch is a hazard. The threat is unexpected. But how high you climb is a risk. It's manageable and requires you to actively make a decision. You can break the elements of controlled risk down into six categories. Heights, speed, tools, dangerous elements, rough and tumble play, and the ability to disappear or become lost. And a good adventure playground includes a mix of these. Designers also focus on separation of space. To give kids the feeling of discovering things on their own, parents have to stay out. That can mean installing a physical barrier or providing things like restrooms, cafes, and seating so that parental experience isn't an afterthought. Finally, designers fill it with loose parts. These are the manipulable objects, the planks, barrels, bricks, and tools that fuel risky play. The idea behind all these design elements is that kids respond well to being treated seriously. If they're presented with risky items with a serious functional purpose, they'll respond cautiously and conduct more experimentation. But if presented with an overly safe, static space, they often wind up seeking dangerous thrills that the built environment fails to provide, which can result in higher injury rates than risky play at adventure playgrounds. In the US, a culture of lawsuit-proof playscape design means that overly safe playgrounds are the norm. And design philosophy is focused on how to reduce height, movement, and hard materials. And that hasn't made playgrounds better. When Marjorie Allen visited American playgrounds in 1965, she called them an administrator's heaven and a child's hell. But adventure playgrounds have recently begun to catch on in the US, perhaps due to an effort to introduce more unstructured play. And their construction comes with a fair share of criticism. They're making kids play with hammers and nails. That's not adventure, it's just work. 
They're tricking kids into building their own playground. Adventure playgrounds do have downsides. They're pretty ugly, they require a lot of space, and they need resources to staff and maintain. And as with any playground, there is an opportunity for injury. But the underlying philosophy of risky play can help kids live better lives. For one thing, riskier playgrounds encourage more activity. A study comparing playgrounds in London, where risky play spaces are popular, to those in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and New York, found that children using London's playgrounds were up to 18% more physically active. The London playgrounds were cheaper and boasted fewer injuries, too. And multiple studies have shown that children who engage in risky play have better risk detection, creativity, and self-esteem. The playground is one of the only kinds of architecture designed specifically for children. And if the standard model we've decided on is seen as boring by its users, that's a problem. Better design can fix that, even if it's a little risky. I had to look through so many pictures of... Yes, that's why I like design. Okay, let's begin with first, before going to the lesson, tell me what you understood. Okay, start cutting. I understood the, the part of the architecture that um, these for these playgrounds for kids and this is a um, debate yeah yes uh, between the the people that wants the conventional play playgrounds mm -hmm. and the people that wants uh, another uh, more risky yeah. riskier right? Riskier, very good. That one's uh, the riskiest one. And they say that the kids uh, prefer the second one because they play more, they can have more activities. Uh, but also the risk is always there. It's not uh, something correlated to the architecture of the playgrounds. Sure. And they want to maybe make that a revolution for safer uh, playgrounds, but uh, it seems to me that the risk is always there. Maybe if the kids have a space for trying new things, but I don't like the 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 adventure <laughs> that they mentioned in the in the video. Interesting. Okay, why don't you like it? Because I I think is if I was a mom, I don't mm -hmm. want to see my kids <laughs> playing with a hammer. With a hammer, right? Yes, with a hammer. That that's a very interesting debate. That's a very interesting debate because precisely it is like you you saw kids with rocks, hammers. Mm -hmm. No, so it's like oh so. How far do you want to take imagination? You know, it's, yes, it's good, I... but oh, it's risky, you know? Yes, so. maybe if they can have a space to create their own things, but just some exactly. space, not the, the entire playground. True, true, totally true, totally true. What, a, what an, interesting, uh, an interesting debate it is. Uh, yes. Yeah, as, as somebody who doesn't have kids, it's easy to say, I let them, you know, go, let them go, let them play. Yes. But what happens if, yeah, then you're concerning about safety and things like that, and it becomes a debate. Okay, that's that's a very good observation. What about uh, Israel? What did you understand? Hi, good morning. Hi. Well, <clears throat> the question about the playgrounds, it's uh, the video contains information on the, the what again? The video contains ah, okay information that no bridge, slide, or growth together. It's uh, all concepts to engineering and architecture. Yes. No, so this is more interesting because if you see these playgrounds in your park or maybe maybe in your na uh, neighborhood, uh, you couldn't uh, you could imagine 
all the things that are behind uh, this place. Yeah, but no, these the, playgrounds. The playgrounds, these are kind of these playgrounds. And how this process has been changed, changing where the time, no, the one sign that weren't Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, is one thing that have safe and health for kids. And again, again so, what, what does it have in Copenhagen? Uh, yes. I didn't understand. Uh, one concept that weren't in Copenhagen. Okay. Uh, in the past, now is a concept that includes safe, safety, and healthy. Oh, okay. Now, uh, not only, not only the children play right, but now it's a uh, old concept of engineering. Interesting. And when do you say it is an old concept of engineering? No, the, the, I, I mean, for example, in the in the beginning, uh, it uh -huh. was the, uh, uh, a group of elements that yeah. uh, they created, but now currently, uh, this uh, playground is a concept that contains engineering and architecture, and this. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And this uh, includes two safety and healthy elements. The the new ones. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's your opinion on that? Uh, well, when the information that it about the the kid that use these playgrounds can develop eighteen percent more physical. Mental, physical, uh, something like that. Uh, mental, physical. Uh, yes, the video, the video contains information about the kids that play in these playgrounds. Mm -hmm. They love eighteen percent more mental, physical. But mental, physical is contradictory. Mental is an adjective, um, it's a description, and physical is a description too. Uh, and they are two distant things. Mm, I don't remember. I'm not sure, but it, it was it was one type of activity, but which type of activity? Physical activity. It was physical activity, eliminate and mental. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's developed eighteen percent their physical activity, and at the same time the interaction with other kids. So. Yes. I think it's a good concept. Maybe I, I I understand what you said that you uh, that you maybe don't relax if your kids play with hammer when another toes, but yeah. maybe these toes are according to the age of your kids. You know, uh, I mean, you don't give a hammer a real hammer. Uh, to kids, no, your kids, to uh, to your kids to play, right? But maybe you give uh, some elements according to their age. According to? According to age. Yeah, it, that's tricky because then uh, that, that's the whole point of the hammer, you know, like, then, then, then we have a problem. Then hammers for kids don't exist. You know, <laughs> like that will be impossible to build. No, oh, you know? yes. You can buy a little hammer of uh, these are done plastics. Ah, okay, I get it. Yeah, but that's that's exactly the 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 the, the contradiction in the video because the the point of giving them real tools according to the video, no, is to give them a better opportunity, a better chance to, to develop new 
uh, you know, physical activity precisely. It's like building something, making something, creating something, you know. But of course, it's very difficult to teach them that because you need real tools for that. Okay. With a plastic hammer, you cannot make anything. It's, it's just a plastic, be a piece of plastic. You cannot build. Yeah, uh, but maybe this hammer is uh, for a kids around three or four years old. Sure. No. Kids, what what is the age, uh, the perfect age for kids to go to the playground? Five? Uh, I think so three, five years old. Three years old are too young, aren't they? Oh, well, well maybe. But uh, you are pending. Your... Yeah, because if, if they're three years old, they would need they would need a, a, a supervision, you know? Yeah. But let's, let's talk about this playground, for example. Let's try... Not this one, because that was, that was a, the junk once a normal playground let's talk about this one over here Physical how how young do you have to be to play in a playground like this mm -hmm. i think about four or four to six four to six do you really think so Look at this little kid. She's like four years old. Yeah. Look at this little guy over here. Six, seven. Nah, he's like eleven years old, man. Go on, he's older. Yeah, of course. Eleven, twelve. Yeah, like five, I think four-year-olds cannot are not independent enough. Okay, as for example. A, a slide. Uh -huh. the, principal, the principal is like uh, it's a father way the kid. It's a what? Yes, it's a father way kid. Ah yeah, of course for here, yeah. Uh-huh. But that is exactly the thing. That is exactly the thing. The hammer the hammer represents creativity and independence. Right, uh -huh. that's that's the issue about this video. If you if you well, we are going to talk about the the details in the listening practice in in a few days, but there is a contrast between the previous background that we the playground that we saw versus this one over here, which is the interesting one. These playgrounds are not for under five year old kids. They have to be, no, I would say, under under seven. You know, probably yeah, probably under seven. From seven to let's say twelve, where kids can can you look at them going up, scaling, and having a total independence without their parents. You know. That's precisely the point of this of this video. That, uh, there is a, an age where they need or they have the necessity to to let their parents away and start and start exploring by themselves. That's why they call them adventure playgrounds. You saw critical. Uh, where is it? It was somewhere over here. Yeah. Transforming from junk to adventure. Because precisely uh, uh, these almost teenagers, older kids, they need adventure. They need they need to move. Right? So it's very debatable to go to the playground as a as a as an adult means that you need you are supervising a younger kid. No, but what happens if they if you are not there? Well, they need independence, and that's that's the debate. That's uh, the, the 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 interesting the interesting 
the bait that that we were mentioning. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, maybe we need to see the situation with the playgrounds for kids older. Older kids. Oh, they are old. Okay, for older kids, because well, uh, in my mind, only only I have these uh, playgrounds where only the young kids play. Exactly. No, I don't imagine uh, all the kids in this in this site. Exactly. That's exactly the problem. The the the, the playgrounds for eleven year olds don't exist. That's the interesting part. Think about it. Think about it. And the playgrounds for 11 year olds don't exist. And it's so difficult for a kid to develop creativity and to develop, to have their own space because these playgrounds, they don't really give the kid the tools to develop creativity and to develop physical physical activity this is so important you know, because there is there is a moment in the kids life where they don't belong to the younger to the younger society but they are not teenagers so what a difficult moment to be a kid no it's like come on man i'm not a kid anymore i cannot be drawing and i cannot be in my house doing nothing i have to play you know, that's that's. I think that's a very very interesting interesting debate in the established the video. You know, that's and very worrying because it means that a lot of people, a lot of of of, of kids, develop distractions in that age because of that, like the iPad, like the cell phone, Facebook, TikTok. Thanks to these type of situations, they don't have, they don't have a place to play. Yeah. You know? uh, well, I'm not sure if these uh, gadgets contains the correct information or correct activities to. They don't. The youngers develop their creativity. They don't. I mean. No, because. The information that this gadget, all the skills of this gadget is for teenagers or maybe adults, but not precisely for kids. It's not exactly for kids. Ages. And look how many kids use gadgets to distract themselves. The kid is playing and the kid is like, come on, let's go to play and uh, take the cell phone. You know, shut up and play uh, surfers or whatever, you know. Shut up and take your TikTok, you know, like, Jesus. That's very, very debatable, you know? So Adventure Playgrounds is something that I think, in my opinion, is like so difficult to see, or no, it's not, it's not my opinion. It's in, in, the, in, the, in the view, it's so difficult to approve because yes, it's risky. Yes, it's difficult to give tools to a kid. Here's a hammer, here are nails, here's here's material, construction material. Go to break your your mouth, you know, like have fun. Also, they start talking about it because the kids were playing with this type of tools in the war. <laughs> oh, exactly. They don't yeah. have nothing else for playing. <laughs> Look at that. Imagine the kids in the middle of a war. It's, a, it's about the situation, not about creativity. Because mm -hmm. they don't have anything else to play. Totally, totally, exactly. The, the political and social situation was very different. Too. Yes, that's right. And there is a lot of things to improve creativity on kids. Not, not so risky. <laughs> That's super important to mention. That's super important to mention. Yeah. And maybe maybe they don't play. Maybe they in their in their war, they they was creating uh, arm, arms, uh, no, uh, uh, yes, uh, guns or uh, I don't weapons. know. 
Weapons. Weapons, oh, okay, new vocabulary. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Just like this. Weapon. 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 That's a weapon. Weapon. Okay. Different weapon. Okay. Weapon. Okay. But no, wait. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. If there's war, they don't make weapons. They just need to play. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they are not manufacturers, you know? They, no, it was no, not. No, but, uh, uh, if this, uh, if it, the, the kids are they build uh, war. The, the, the kids sleep, uh, what again? A uh, microphone problems. The kids were built a uh, war tank. Okay. But I think, I don't know. Yeah, like the, the, the kids were built war tank. I don't understand. Yes, in the photo, the kids are building war tank. War tank. Oh, okay, but it's a, it's not a functional war tank. And this. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's not functional. It's like. No. Yes. Obviously, no. But in the war, there are built that. Okay. But I think. Okay, but that's that. Then you agree that that's creativity. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Obviously, they don't want to kill someone, or maybe, yes, I don't know. But this is a process of imitation. Why? Because maybe this is a post war or in the middle war, I don't know. But <clears throat> they don't use a hammer to uh, hit another guy, another kid. No, this is exactly. because they want to build something that exactly. they war help to a specific objective. yeah that's that's the easy, that, that's the thing precisely kids kids have this innocence that need a innocence that need a develop development uh -huh. no Go like they, uh -huh. if you give a little hammer a plastic hammer to kids uh three years old this guy doesn't hit to other kid. Maybe they give the hammer to and they share with them. But if you give the hammer, maybe a child of five or six years ago, uh, six years old, maybe don't, maybe yes, he hit the other kid. That's that's precisely a very good a very good observation. So what, what happens between three and six years old? What happens between three and six? Well, that, that's exactly the point. But I, I don't think it's a, it's a matter of age. I think it's a matter of of uh, education because I imagine there are a lot of kids that are pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. Have you have you thought about that? Yeah. I, I imagine when I saw the kid with a hammer, I I remembered like any you know you have you have seen these these mass shootings in in the United States with kids taking guns to the school and shooting people, you know it's like how how safe would I feel? Probably my kid, or I think that my kid is super innocent and he's an angel and no. But probably my kid is a monster, you know, and he's actually trying to kill somebody. You know? So it's or he, and the kid is doesn't even know that, no. So that's that's very difficult to to tell if a kid is going to be safe or not. If people around the kid is going to be safe or not, that's that's a difficult debate in the in in adventure playgrounds. It's very yeah. difficult. Uh -huh. 
what about what about uh, Chris? Chris, you wait. Well, you were a couple of minutes uh, late to the class, but I think you got the idea of the of the video, right? Did you understand anything in the video? I understand that the video is talking about the vision of playgrounds. Yeah. And how dangerous can be. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. These new playgrounds or the or which ones? The older. The old ones, no? The old ones. Okay, did you understand any positive positive comments about the old playgrounds? Maybe the the develop of the child. I mean exactly. okay. I mean there was a lot of things uh, to discover in the oldest ones. Sure. Sure, yeah. And that's it. Okay, okay. So there was a lot of things to discover in the older ones, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of things did kids discover? Hammers and other tools. Okay, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. What do you think about this? Like giving a hammer to a kid? It depends of the material. Real hammers are too dangerous. Sure, yeah. Uh -huh. But another kind of hammers can be safe. Can be. What, like what? Which kind of hammers can be safe? Plastic or with a... Plastic. Plastic hammers. Yeah, plastic. <laughs> okay. That, that, that's then, then we make you are similar to, to Israel. No, like giving plastic tools to kids so they can play. Yeah. What would you, if you had a kid, would you let, let's imagine this kid is. Is a seven year old, okay? A seven year old kid. Would you let them play with with a with a hammer? No. Okay, interesting. Why? Uh, real hammer is too dangerous. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a toy. It's not a toy. Interesting. What would you let them play with? There are toys. Uh, there are toys. Hammer toys. Uh huh. Do you remember the Chipotle? <laughs> yes. The. Uh... Uh, Chapulín Colorado's hammer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but um, the real hammer is not the toy. Exactly. Yeah. That's the issue. Right? Yeah, when, when, when a kid has a, a, a chipote <laughs> you know, the, 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 the first uh, impulse of the kid is to go hit somebody. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a good point. Huh? This is a good uh -huh. point. Because what is the the real function of this tool? Exactly. Exactly. To play or hit someone? To hit and play some. Exactly. That's the that's the debate. Mm -hmm. Very difficult point. If it's a kid and if it's an aggressive kid, then it's a hazard. But if it's a kid and it's a uh, creative kid, it's a great tool. So it depends on the kid. It really depends on the education that the kid has. Mm -hmm. So that would be very difficult to say. Yes, but maybe if you are uh, five years uh, five years old and you see how your parents are laughing when they say a Chapulín Colorado hit to someone, so 
maybe the one to do the same. Yeah, probably. Probably with a with a kinda. I mean, imagine imagine you have you are holding uh, chipotle gion and a hammer. They look different, you know. Uh -huh. So it will be a difficult thing to say that if they see this in the television, they will copy that, you know? That's exactly the point that conservatives have with video games. No, if you play video games, your kid is going to be a terrorist, you know, like, really? Okay. You know, is there a correlation between terrorism and playing video games? You know what I mean? Okay, no, but maybe you are in the current age to to realize the difference one another, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly, of course. Of course, so you have a chipotle chion in the hand, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna hit my friends, haha, <laughs> this is so funny, no? But if I have a real hammer, then you're like, okay, this is heavy, this is different, you know, it feels different. <laughs> Unless you are in a house where violence is normal. Unless you see that your father is hitting your mother every time he comes drunk to his house. You see what I mean? What happens if, if uh, the kid is, has violence so normalized in his house where his father hits the, the family uh, when he gets drunk? And that, that will be something very difficult to control in a playground. What do you think about this? It's, you were, you, you agreed with something we said right now about education. Yes. In the part when you say something about the chipotle chillon, mm -hmm. when you give uh, a boy one of these things, mm -hmm they don't hit the father is who who teach them exactly why <laughs> the father is <laughs> usually the or father or the uncle or, or some somewhere with more age <laughs> is older, who older older uh, older yes Someone older um is who takes the thing and poop uh, hit someone so mm -hmm. In this moment, the the boy or the children or whatever uh, knows for what this this thing for, <laughs> I suppose. Yep. Mm. Why I see them like that. Um, I don't know. I in the in in my in my head the video. Uh, teach something is not so bad. The problem is mm, the human being, I suppose. The idea is not so bad because they give a space for for create something in- For creating. For creating something for, for the children. Since you are young, you can grow creating creating something mm -hmm. or imagining uh, what do you can to do what you can do um, maybe build something with your friends the problem is um, I suppose these kind of places or in a, in an I, I don't know I I I think it's a place who needs supervision, but the supervision that, a place that a place where uh, not a place who the place that needs supervision, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the supervision could uh, um, stop the imagination of the children. Yeah, okay. So, okay. <laughs> it could be no so good, but I don't know. I suppose it's not so bad. The thing is 
they need something to know kill someone in those places i suppose yeah. i don't know okay. it's yes definitely and as a, as a marketer you know perfectly how ideas work very differently from the original plan <laughs> no i don't know i suppose that the um, um, any place which in any place that can give you um space to create is good any place yeah the, in... the problem is that um we as a human beings and we are our mentality not everyone mm, is a good person so it's yep. when it's when the evil came <laughs> exactly and when the evil when the evil came then the idea was totally destroyed it, it, because there's always somebody there's always It's, somebody so are you are we going to change all the concepts of the original idea for the minority yeah you know like is it really necessary to change the complete concepts because evil exists or should we change evil that's the difficult part yes it's when the this this boy uh, who saw his father uh, hit his mother came uh -huh. to these places and it's all over for the they're gonna hit everybody exactly especially if it's the big boy with with uh, problems then of course he's going to be physically uh, able to to be territorial and to defend their position as, as uh, the big kid it's difficult difficult to, to control definitely <laughs> Definitely. What are your 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 playground memories? Do you have any playground memory, uh, Connie? Yes, when I was in the school, and uh, what is in the kindergarten? Kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I used to play a lot in the in the playgrounds, play in the playgrounds of the school. Okay. Uh, and I remember that there was a kid that fall down from a, one of these playgrounds. Oh no, fell, present fall, past fell. Fell, fell down. <laughs> and I remember that I prefer to go to, um, to play with dolls because these playgrounds I, were always Fall. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so you went to, to play with your dolls because these kids were. were... Yes, and, and also they were race. I remember that one time I played in one that I don't know the name, the, but they, the purpose is that you can uh, go uh, fast, uh, mm -hmm. go in, in cycles. Like. I like a, I don't know how to say it in English, a ruleta. Oh, that's a, what type of, uh, are you talking about this playground where that goes round and round? Yes, that one. And that's that's uh, different in English. It's a merry, no, I don't know if it's a merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. I think this is different because it has, it has horses. No, it's a, it's a merry go round. Oh, wait. Mm. Roundabout or merry go round? Ah, okay. Roundabout. Yes, and I feel. <laughs> and oh I God. feel so bad because all the cycles and all the speed. <laughs> Then I This prefer is... to play with other things. That's a very interesting uh, 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 that you mentioned this. Do you think this one is safe? Uh, maybe you are not uh, playing to with a lot of the speed. Uh -huh. uh, but but if you don't uh, how I can say uh, if you you don't take uh, 
uh, you don't hold, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, don't uh, hold. you can go away. Yes. Mm -hmm. You don't hold. Do you hold? Yeah, you, you can use a, an adverb. You don't hold how? Yourself? No, an adverb. Oh, Ooh. hardly? Tightly? Oh, okay. Tightly. Tightly. In a you way that you can resist. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Yeah, if you don't hold tightly, you can you can have a very serious injury. Did you have did you hurt yourself bad when you fell? No, the bad out? thing is that I feel really bad, like having nauseous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bad part. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember breaking, I, I, I remember falling from one of these two. It was a round, a round merry-go-round, like a circular. Mm. Have you seen them? It's something similar to this now, but it was, it was circular. There was some at, uh, in Mexico, they were very common. Like a cup? Like a cup? What do you mean? Uh, what? Because I see one that yeah, that looks like a cup. Like a cup. A, a cup of tea. A cup of tea. Ah, okay, yeah, kinda. The way you sit down. Yes, that one. Uh -huh, precisely, but it, it was all covered. It was a circle, a full, full uh, oh, sphere. Oh, yes, yes, like uh, the the games la, in the. This one. In the fair, like the games exactly. in the fair. Yes, like uh -huh. that. I remember being so afraid to enter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so dangerous, you know. Yes. So dangerous. Do you have any any memory like that, guys? Any memory? In a, maybe in a in a playground. Eat, Cisra, Chris. No, in my case. Not, not in my case. Not, not in my case. I because I always, I I was around by adults. Surrounded. Surrounded. Okay, so I am surrounded by adults. In this moment, no. No, in that I was a child. Yeah, but you said I am. Okay, I was sorry. I was surrounded. Exactly. <laughs> I was surrounded. I was surrounded by adults. So, no. So, no. The prioritize was my uh, development. Again, again, again. The what? The, okay. The, the priority. Again. The priority. Prio. Priority. Uh -huh. What was the priority? Okay, the priority was not my develop as a kid. Uh, my, my development. My development? Okay. Uh -huh. oh, yes, it's a noun. My development as a kid. Interesting. What, what, uh, what do you mean with that? Well, because uh, the interaction was only with adults. So normally I don't, uh, I have a little memories of plays, uh, playgrounds, parks. Oh, no. wow, that's super interesting. And did mm -hmm. you, do you have a, like a cousins and, and or, or, or family your age, the same age as you? No, normally not. Uh, all my cousins are, five or ten years oldest wow that's very interesting so you're the youngest one yes because my dad the youngest uh, uh okay all the brothers all the brothers and how yeah. many brothers does your father have uh, 12 12 wow yes so imagine yes i have a lot of cousins but, uh, but all of them are older. Yeah, exactly. Well, I have all of my dad. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
no, so no, no. The only the only contact with other kids are maybe a couple of neighbors or in the in the school. And your sister? And my sister, obviously. And my sister, yes. Wow, But, that's so similar to me, man. <laughs> Uh -huh. I, 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 I have a very similar situation. That's so amazing. Yeah, so sometimes in my, when I was teenager, so when I was, a, yes, around this age, I mm -hmm. feel better when I was with adults. Ah, I prefer, so I prefer, true. I prefer was with adults than other kids of my age. You preferred past for the principal I, verb? I preferred it. I prefer it. Ajá, uh -huh. and then the secondary verb is uh, infinitive. Ah, ok, so I prefer it to be. To be. I prefer it to be. Mm -hmm. Adults. With. That, with adults. The kids of my that age. Around kids. That is so true. A kid that has that has no other 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 contact with, with the same age definitely have a closer relation and co co connection with with adults definitely yeah. mm -hmm. which of course if, which of course probably is not about uh, uh, it's not about the priority of the family because at the end you can develop your 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 you can have development in a different, in a different way but but yeah definitely playgrounds go to the background no? they they are not the first option for, uh -huh. for, for, for the kids like us. Uh -huh. That's correct. Wow, that's super interesting. Nice to meet you, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 very nice. All right. Basically, uh, for me, uh, I feel comfortable in I talked uh, in the how I, I don't know how to use it. Eh, hablar de tú, de older people. Okay. Well, in, in English, there's not, not such thing as hablar de tú. Because in English, there is no difference between you, formal, and you, informal. Uh, you see? So there's no problem for you to, to talk directly, probably, no? To, okay. to chat or to, 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 you know what? Let me teach you a, a perfect to be friend. But this is a, a verb, eh? Please read it. Be friend. But it's not there. To become a friend of somebody. Only somebody. You see? Okay. What happened with friendly? When friendly is uh, an adjective? Yeah, friendly is an adjective. No, 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 this is a verb. This is the action. The action that you do when you are, when you can become a friend of somebody. Okay. So I usually befriend my students because I know everything about their lives. You know? Uh-huh. Okay, good. And and yeah, you don't have a problem to befriend other people or older older people. Exactly. What's an interesting thing, man? What an interesting thing. What about uh, okay, yell at me one second because we're gonna check attendance, okay guys? So Jesse, are you there? Good morning. Yes, I am here. Good morning. Hello. Hi. So we're going to stay assistant. Please, yes, please. Rios Christian here present hi Christian thank hi. you Connie Rodriguez I'm here good morning good morning Connie thank you Itze Bejarano hi good morning hi Itze thank you good morning Jesus Cruz Not coming. All right. And Luis Alejandro Castillo. No coming either. Yeah, no coming either. And also, um, Israel Torres, yes. He's here. 
Israel Tomasillas. Hi, good morning. Hi, Israel. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks to you. Thank you. See you. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. What about um, what about its end, Christian? What are your playground memories? Let's begin with its. Oh my! I was a scared child, so <laughs> I was all all the time in the I don't know how it, is it name Columbia's. Oh, great question! That one is um. Let me remember that. That one is, uh, this is live, the merry-go-round, and uh, I forgot the name. It was, um, glider, swing bills. Okay, I have here swing. Aha, uh, okay. uh -huh, yes. swing. The swings. Ah, yes, the swings. Oh, I enjoy swings a lot. Yes, I I was there all the time. <laughs> and when I tried another thing, I it not it was not so good. For example, oh. once I I was in the up and down. It's the uh -huh. other thing. The, the up, up and down. down. <laughs> and um, no, it's ah. Uh, this yes. So I was with with a with with a friend who was more chubby than me so and that's very dangerous <laughs> i was all the time up and scared and when she get bored she goes or she went that's and let me fall yes. oh yeah so you were exactly and you were a small kid like very small, very thin, very, very, very thin, you know? So it was, it was uh, very easy to put you up. Yes. No? That's Maybe it. not so thin, but yes, small. <laughs> very small. And mm -hmm. smaller than, than her, so I I hurt so much. Exactly. So, so, that's so much. <laughs> so your player memories are like getting hurt and... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, so I always be in in the swings, and I was I I I was happy there. Uh, exactly. That that was that was a safe zone. That, that that's an interesting thing. I have never seen the the the, the swings like as a as a zone, as a safe thing <laughs> game. And that's that's true. Yes. It, it's safe and fun and relaxing and yeah yes very interesting yes i i, I like it be very high yeah so, and then try it to to jump when exactly. when it's moving and this is that was my phone when i was young it's it's nice it's nice and the sensation is is nice to to, to fly a little bit the sensation is good like, yeah I was always afraid to break my 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 mouth when I fall when I jump. You know, I never jumped. No. I never jumped. No, I was so afraid to to break my face. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that was so. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Come on, why are you bullying me? <laughs> no, I I I always look for for this the the boys like you. For jumping in, in, for jumping 
in them. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's funny. That that's the thing. Yeah, the playground is so interesting. There's a lot of uh, things going on. Yeah, definitely. I was one of these these kids that was avoiding people and things like that. Yeah, <laughs> very interesting. Yeah. In Greece, what are your playground memories? Tell me about it. Well, I remember that <laughs> I used to play a lot in swings too. Oh cool. All right, you're a swing boy. <laughs> also in in the slides. Yes. And in this particular playground, uh, up and down. Mm -hmm. I rem I have a memory in a dangerous situation. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Yeah, because this this playground is too dangerous. Exactly, exactly. What was he? What happened? A boy let me down. Let me fall. Let me, uh, see. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> let me fall. No fall because the first the principal verb is let. Uh, the second let me... verb is fall. Mm -hmm. Fall very, very quick. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and I. Felt to the ground. Excellent. Fell, because felt is a past of feel. Yeah, felt. Without, to the, without the T. Uh -huh. To the felt. Mm -hmm. And you felt. Shell to the ground. Okay. And that was it, but nothing happened to you. The the something horrendous happened to you? Mm. Uh horrendous, but it, it hurts. hurts me. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, that happens. That's it. That's the the little the little disadvantage, and that's why parents are afraid. Because if a normal playground, it's supposedly safe playground, people get accidents. Imagine one with a hammer, <laughs> you know, that's precisely the issue. <laughs> no. So that's that's the interesting thing about about these these uh, particular games. Playgrounds are very interesting to think about. And yeah, we are exploring a lot of things. We're exploring our childhood, our experience. It would be a very interesting thing to have a designer in the class to speak a little bit about what's their opinion. But definitely, you know, it's, for example, being a marketer. Uh, I think she agrees on the idea that when you create something or when you have an idea for an audience, there is always a minority, there is always an exception, there is always a different use that that the public does with with this type of, of, uh, of playground. So it's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky to think about the solution for everybody. No? So whenever, when you have kids, guys, just let them be and take care of them. No? That will be the only the only thing because we have no parents in this class yet, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a, a a screenshot for your vocabulary. This particular vocab is incomplete, sort of, because I need to check what words are uh, from B1, from B2, and for C1. I need to mark this vocabulary. I need to check what is complete and what is not. And also add some some words that I un understood when I watched the video. So anyway, you can start reading your vocabulary because we are going to practice the listening section on, uh, I think, Thursday or Friday, I, I think, or Monday. It depends on the, on, the, on the calendar that I have. I don't remember. But anyway, start reading your vocabulary, start getting familiar with the vocabulary, and I will update this uh, slide to you later, okay? Our plans for tomorrow is, 
we are going to learn adverb formation. Okay, how do we form adverbs? What is the correct construction of adverbs? And how to distinguish adverbs from adjectives? Because some of them are very, very similar. Okay, that's going to be tomorrow's lesson. Please come, please, for the love of God, because you need to solve all the questions that you that you will have in the exam. Okay, but you can start. When you are going to start uh, getting familiar with your vocabulary. Okay, do you have any question? Do you have any comment? No, everything is okay. Thank you. Cool. Very, very nice. All right, so I'm passing you the link of the video so you can start watching it. This is on WhatsApp. And. And there we go. Where are you? So name. There was not a lot of vocabulary in this class. I thought this conversation was going to have a lot of words. Well, we learned be friends, we learned Did you take notes on these words? A friend? It's a transitive verb. <coughs> Let's do priority transition. We will wait. We checked the round that was new word. We were surrounded by adults. Was the, the idea that we saw that we Lightly, an adverb, when you are holding Were you holding tightly? That was funny, no? Nice idea. Weapon. Watch out. These are your arms, Israel. You cannot build arms, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, it exists, eh? It exists arms, synonym of weapon, but that is less common. But well, arms, what, what, what happens with uh, arms? A part of your body. Exactly. It, it is more common to say that these are your arms. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was a lot of uh, like small vocabulary list. Okay. I we also go types of games. It was the merry go round. The slides. The swings and the up and the up and the down. Very good, guys. Good conversation. Good vocabulary. I will gonna. Uh, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Have a very good day. And thanks for coming. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. Study your vocabulary, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye, man. See you later. Thank you.